Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to take a look at Euro, US Dollar. We're going to give a little bit of an update to the recent analysis that we've done. So, has anything technically changed here for us on Euro Dollar? Well, actually, no. So, the only thing that's happened really is that the market is still in this sort of retracement phase. If we look at the overall cycles of the market, we have this really nice lower low pattern, lower high pattern. Now we're looking for that lower high to come into play for another impulse to the downside. We just haven't seen that follow through yet. And one thing that we really want to see is that four hour changing cycle. We've been talking about this for so long now that we're waiting for that breakdown. And we need to see that breakdown now in order to get short because we tried to short it a couple of times through here and unfortunately got stopped looking for that market to really now cement that position in terms of looking for that four hour change in trend. But at the moment, technically on the higher time frame, on that daily time frame, no, nothing has changed for us because the previous structure high is up here. So in order for the market to um, change trend, I would need to see a break above that high in order to even think about price continuing to push to the upside. At the moment, we still have this really nice lower low, lower high pattern still expecting the market to at least retest this 116 if it can break further down looking for 114 then to come into play which is just around through here so still looking for that downside but what do we need to see again i'm going to just hammer home i really want to see that four hour change in trend let me just get rid of the indicators for now what we can see here or what are we looking for um and why we look for this is just that when that impulse then happens, we're more than likely going to see some um, trend changes. OK, so if we actually uh, look at this and say to ourselves, well, what's going on? We can see that the market made a higher high here, rallied again, higher high, rallied again, higher high. So looking at this, the lows are around this area here. OK, we can see that the market formed a low here and here. So that to me is suggesting that we need to see this level broken and close below in order to get short. Again, price has come into this area and we've had a really strong bullish response from this level. So this 117 area is really a sticking point for this market at the moment. So if I just place a level at 117, always going to treat this as sort of a... Um, zone so we may even obviously have to look for a little bit higher up so maybe actually call it 117.25s in and around this area the market is obviously stuck at but it's more of a zone in here okay market finds resistance support 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 again so i need to see this market break into some new lows even to consider starting to get short on this just because i really want to look for that dollar strength to come through but if the technicals aren't lining up then we can't take that bias anymore because what we really want to see is that happening so over here for instance when the market did start making lower lows and lower highs we can see that um, we started impulse into the downside so if i just jumped up into a daily time frame here that's when we started to have that lower high situation and this is what we really want to trade off the back of that impulse move through here so if i uh, just looked at the retracement phase okay and if i just make the retracement phase a different color let's say just red click ok go into that four hour time frame on that retracement phase through here we can see that price makes a new high so we're making lower lows makes a new high here and then price just works within that it doesn't change trend when it changes trend that's when we get the impulse to the downside at the moment we've got higher highs higher lows what do we need to see change in trend then we can look for the impulse again okay so euro dollar still very much on the radar in terms of looking at the has anything changed in terms of the daily outlook it hasn't there's just a couple of sticking points that price is really finding it hard to push through at the moment once those are taken out then we can start going very aggressive on short opportunities on euro us dollar i'm gonna leave it there hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up thanks for watching speak to you soon